I just enjoy painting and creating bodies, if that makes sense. I just, uh, I love watching them and transforming them and destroying them and creating them. My name is Luisa Pascu. I study at the painting department on Academy of Fine Arts in Zagreb, Croatia. This is my corner behind me. Uh, we're fairly near to the center of Zagreb, which is really cool. I love being in the center of the city. Thinking about the stuff you're creating is oftentimes similar like thinking about how you're living. So when I'm working and when I'm working to those technical things, I feel like I'm working through those mental things. I have been preoccupied for a long time with how I present myself and how other people receive me and how every day I have a new distortion when I see myself in the mirror. Painting my own body, I have this new outlook on it and this new perspective. I don't see it as, as something to be judged. It's a nice distance between me and my body when I paint. So I did these big drawings in real life size of my own body and tried to uh, express what I was feeling at the time. So fears of being fat or being uh, having a weird body or feeling like the image that reflects you in the mirror is not the image that you feel. That's why it's called um, Terapia Usporedbom. I think exhibition is a really in an interesting place now in the art world because we've come a long way with trying to avoid it and labeling exhibitions as something that's archaic or old or old-fashioned and I think it has a new meaning now. I feel like Instagram is complicated because it's the most popular platform for visual artists because logically it's a visual um, focused website but it's not the best platform for showing something that you spend a lot of time on because the person that sh scrolls through it myself included, spends two seconds seeing it on a really, really small screen. That's one thing. And the second thing I think is bad for it because as an artist, if you post consistently, uh, you start to see your work as just content. But also you can't give it up because it gives you a good visibility. And the thing I like about it is that it's accessible. A reception of my work is for me really important. I feel like 50% is creating and the other 50% is showing it and seeing how people react. My couple first exhibitions, I mean, it's not like I have a lot of experience, but the first ones were extremely stressful because even if it, the topic is now not intimate or private, there's this feeling of showing yourself to others. When I feel unmotivated, then I feel like uh, this whole painting thing or art thing is just some uh, irrelevant hobby of mine. Uh, I feel like some guy in a basement doing this for no one except himself. And then it's good to read some books about this thing that's called art that's like the biggest part of human history <laughs> and really really important and that's when I feel like I'm part of something or that I'm part of a purpose. The same feeling I get when I um, talk to my friends. I feel like conversation is most important part for me in, in making art apart from actually making it. So as far as technique goes, uh, like in figurative painting, I think that's something that's developed over time. The way that I paint now, I think is dictated by my taste in art, which is influenced by a lot of people. 
for example, my parents, they're also both painters and I feel like I picked up on a lot of stuff, which was hard to accept, but you, you have to move on. So at the moment I'm working on a new set of paintings and the topics are like, again, bodies, but this time it's more like um, how in a commercial a body serves as just a model for clothing and I feel like these photos are very specific and weird. <laughs> like you catch uh, the human body in a moment when it's prepared but unprepared and where it's human but also not human at all. It's like just a hanger for clothing. So that's what's interesting to me now. Anyone who has any questions about anything considering my art or wants a commission or wants to buy something, wants to get to know some other things about this, they can find me at Instagram at Luisa underscore Pascu. You can contact me per Instagram or Facebook and then we'll get to know each other.